Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you so much for being here. Of course, this morning, we're going to be looking at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, as well as the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to stop by later at 1230 Eastern Standard Time, where Richard Allen and I will be live streaming, discussing all of the happenings in the stock market this week. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are slightly in the green this morning. We have the Dow futures up 0.11%, while the S&P 500 futures are up 0.04%, and NASDAQ futures remain flat. Adidas has announced that they're selling Reebok to authentic brands groups for $2.5 billion. The transaction is expected to close in the first quarter of 2022. Adidas had acquired Reebok for $3.8 billion back in 2006 to help it compete with rival Nike. Reebok struggled, with activist Adidas investors repeatedly calling for the sale of the sneaker brand. The CEO of Authentic Brands said that they've had their sights set on Reebok for many years and they're excited to finally bring this iconic brand into the fold. With just two analyst ratings, the Adidas stock does come in as a moderate buy with an average upside of 101%. Shares of Moderna and Pfizer are rising after it was announced that the FDA has approved vaccine booster shots in immunocompromised individuals. The FDA commissioner said that the country has entered yet another wave of the COVID pandemic and the FDA is especially cognizant that immunocompromised people are particularly at risk for severe disease. After a thorough review of the available data, the FDA determined that this small vulnerable group may benefit from a third dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech or Moderna vaccines. Both stocks have seen a ton of growth this past year. Analysts currently rate the Moderna stock a hold with an average downside of 25%. Even the most recent buy rating from two days ago has already been surpassed. And the Pfizer stock is rated a hold with an average downside of 5%. Ford announced that they're having some production problems that will delay delivery of their Mustang Mach-E and the new Ford Bronco. The Mustang Mach-E has been hit by the global semiconductor shortage, which may delay deliveries by six weeks or more. As for the Bronco, there's a problem with the molded-in color hardtop roofs on the vehicles, which can lead to unsatisfactory appearance when exposed to extreme weather and humidity. This problem could delay deliveries for customers by months. The Ford stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 16%. Now, moving over to notable earnings reports. Starting off with Brookfield Asset Management, who did deliver some mixed Q2 results. Their revenues soared 42.5% year-over-year to $18.3 billion, surpassing the consensus mark of $6.7 billion. Earnings, however, came in at $0.49 cents per share, against a net loss of $0.43 cents per share in the year-ago quarter, but lagging the street's estimates of $0.72 cents per share. Analysts do rate the Brookfield stock a strong buy, with the most recent rating coming in two days ago and an upside of 20%. The average price target would be an upside of just 1%. We also heard from Applied DNA, who did have fantastic year-over-year -year results, but fell short of analyst expectations. Their quarterly revenues soared 294% year-over-year to 1.7 million, but missed analyst expectations of 3.13 million. The rise was driven by an increase in service and product revenues. The company reported a loss of $0.46 cents per share, which was narrower than the year-ago loss of $0.72, cents, but wider than the street's estimates of a loss of $0.22. Cents. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy, with an average upside of 133%. And we also heard from salty snack manufacturer Utz Brands, who also had some mixed second quarter results. Their revenue fell 4% year-over-year, landing at $299.2 million, coming in above consensus estimates of $290 million. 
Their adjusted earnings per share, on the other hand, totaled 13 cents, worse than the 15 cents per share estimated by analysts. Their CEO warned that costs could remain at elevated levels for the remainder of the year. Analysts do rate the UTS stock a strong buy with an average upside potential of over 42%. The rest of today remains fairly quiet for earnings reports, so let's take a look at this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Pilgrim's Pride. Under the ticker PPC, they're currently up 19%, followed by ZipRecruiter under the ticker ZIP, up almost 13%, and the Walt Disney stock under DIS, currently up 5%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Context Logic. The Wish stock is down nearly 27%. They're followed by Cricket Incorporated under CRCT, currently down 19%, and SoFi Technologies under SOFI, down over 9%. So that'll be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you back here next time.